Hello, Corey Taylor here from Slipknot, and you are watching Linear Rock. Hi, Corey of Slipknot. Welcome back to Milan. Always a pleasure to have your oh. band in our town. There's a lot of excitement outside the forum tonight. So good, 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 looking good. forward to play. This is the first date of the European tour? No, no, no. no. We, uh, it's about, we've been about a month now. Okay, yeah, so. Yeah. Well, we started in the UK. All right. And then we came over in, to the in continent. continental yeah, so. Europe. Fantastic. So, yeah, we're nice and warmed up now. We're ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you, you said in the past that Slipknot is too physical and too crazy to go on forever. But it's now already almost 20 years <laughs> that you're doing it. So did you expect to get this far? I did not expect that, you know, okay. to be honest. It was, uh, you know, and that makes me proud. You know, it makes me very proud. Um, you know, you don't expect stuff like this. You know, and you don't expect it to be bigger uh, than it was when you started. You know, so uh, for me, um, obviously, I'm kind of looking back at what I've said in the past, and I'm like, oh, well, yeah, should have, should have just kept my mouth shut. You know, but uh, you know, the fantastic thing is, is that I love to be proved wrong on something like that. You know, we're so grateful yeah. for what we have. We're very, very lucky, and. Uh, you know, to be able to come back with, with such an emotional album too, um, it's, uh, it's a treat. I mean, it, it's just, it's everything that we could want. Let me compliment you for the great chapter, which is a wonderful album. Thank you. Very inspired. Um, was maybe one of the toughest album to make for Slipknot, you know, after all that happened, you know, within, around the band since 2010. Yeah. Uh, it's a very dark album indeed. Yes. So, is that a reflection of the situation you were living or the inspiration came otherwise? I think it was a little of both, to be okay. honest, you know. I mean, we had, uh, you know, we had gone through such a hard time uh, when we lost Paul that, you know, it took us a long time to kind of regroup and kind of get back on our feet together, you know. Um, we knew that this album would be the story of Paul, not only loving him and knowing him, but also losing him and everything that we had gone through losing him. So we knew that we, we, we didn't want to go into the studio right away and just make something quick. We wanted to make sure that when we did go in, we made it for the right reasons. We made it because we wanted to. And that would give it that natural energy that we expect from ourselves when it comes to Slipknot. So I think in a way, because it was so dark, and because we were kind of telling that story, it, it had to be that dark because of just how heavy it was for us to kind of carry that pain for so long, you know. But again, um, you know, the, the fact that the, the, the maggots around the world have embraced it as, as strongly as they have, it just makes me, you know, feel so good that we waited as long as we did. Um, the lyric uh, sound like a cathartic outburst to yes, me. Yeah. Um, is this the approach you had writing them? I, oh. I define you like a poet, you know, of metal. Oh, because thank you. thank you. You're very intense and very profound. So, is that, uh, I mean, as you feel? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Um, you know, somebody asked me a couple days ago what the difference between this album and our first four albums would be. And I think this album has that that central story. Yeah. So it's more focused, it's more mature. Um, and it was, you know, there was a big responsibility for me because I felt like I needed to write our story yeah. together, you know, not just from my point of view, but everything that we had all gone through, you know. Yes. And I took that very seriously. So for me, it was very much about tapping in and talking to the guys in the band and really 
really finding that central message for all of us so we could all share in that catharsis and really be able to let go of some of that heaviness, you know, because I mean, we'll probably never let go of all of it, but you know, hopefully we made Paul There's proud. always some. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. And um, do you ever put masks on in the studio while recording just, you know, to catch the right inspiration in um, the performance? We used to. We okay. used to, yeah, in the past. Um, but now, I think because we've been doing it for so long, we're able okay. to really capture it, you know. I know Clown wore his mask a couple times, and it's so weird that, you know, you just can't help but just go, ugh, you know. <laughs> right. um, but yeah, over the years, we, it, we've gotten so good at being able to turn it on and just let it go that now, it's almost second nature to put the mask on because we know exactly where we're going inside. And um, do you ever put the mask on at home with your kids? I, I try not to, let's okay. put it that way, because it's, it's very, very smelly. All so. right, <laughs> that's a good reason, okay. Um, if you could switch roles with another member of Slipknot for one show, and switch the mask, which one would it be and why? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, I don't know, maybe <laughs> maybe Clown. The clown. Maybe Clown, yeah, because, it, it, you know, I, I, first of all, I think his mask is so creepy looking. Okay. And he, you know, it would be cool to just, to just play, yeah. you know? I've never done a show where I just played, you know? I've always been the singer, you know, even with my other projects that I do, I'm always singing, yeah. even when I just want to play guitar or play drums. So I think it would be interesting to just, you know, even though he does backups, um, which I could do, you know, kind of here and there, it would be interesting to just be able to focus on an instrument, you know, and, and then he runs around and he's crazy, <laughs> you know, so that would, I think that'd be a lot of fun. All right. Um, through the years, your image has always developed, uh, but with the gray chapter, you decided to modify all the masks. Um, was it vital for you to start this new chapter and also as a new visual band? Um, and why you, Corey, uh, decided to have a brand new mask this time? Um, well, I've always changed my mask uh, over the years. I, I've changed it with every album, but with this album, I wanted to do something very special. Um, I wanted to show the metaphor for uh, the kind of emotion that we have been carrying. And there's so many layers and, and uh, levels to that emotion that I wanted to show that just when you think you see the mask, there's a whole other mask underneath, oh. you know? And that's, that's what it's supposed to represent. And, and I thought, you know, I, I spent a lot of time trying to figure out how I wanted that to look, you know, which is why this, the top part looks like skin and looks like, uh, you know, like the human. And then you lift it and there's something completely not devoid of humanity, but just completely different from the human that's on the front, you know. Because every, every person has that different side to them. And I wanted to show that visually. And what's more human? You with the mask or what's behind the mask? That's a good question. Um, it depends on the moment. Um, I think when I'm on stage with Slipknot bearing my soul through the music, I think it's the most honest I could ever be. And then, but then, when I come off stage and I take off the mask, there's a certain role that I have in, in life now where I'm a husband, I'm a father, um, I'm a brother to all these crazy people. Um, so it's about, it's about putting all of that energy into the right spots at all the right moments, you know? And whatever's in front of you, that's what you focus on, you know? And I think that's what uh, humanity's all about. What not fast mean to you, Corey? 
Notfest was pretty big for us, you know, like that was something that we've been talking about for so long. So a couple of years ago when we first got to do it, you know, we were all just stoked to be able to do it. But then last year, being able to do it like in one spot and have a whole weekend where people came to us, yeah. it felt like being able to perfect a vision, you know? And we brought so many other different things into it and had so many fantastic bands be a part of it. It kind of proved to us that now people look at our name um, and, and it means something. It, it means something strong. It means something uh, uh, of quality, you know? People know that we don't just put our name on anything. When we put our name on something, it means something. And I think that is what I'm most proud of, is that after all this time, we have developed a reputation for being strong and being real and having integrity. So I, I think that's uh, that to me is the biggest thrill. And do you leave it more as a celebration or as a mission? Uh, it's, it's a celebration now. There's a little more, I think when we first started, it was more of a mission because it was trying to get people to see our way of thinking. Yeah. And then as we got older, we're like, we're never going to do that. <laughs> so what we tried to do was just encourage people to see who we are, but in a positive way. Because for us, our main purpose is to make sure everyone in that audience has the absolute best time of their lives, you know? And to let go of that aggression, and that, that, uh, that depression that they maybe have been holding on to for like a whole year or two years since we've been there. So I think in a way that's, that's, where, that's where we've come. Do you, do you have a different set list every night or you, it's, it's pretty much we have set? Yeah, we have three okay. uh, rotating sets that okay. we do. Okay, yeah. so they are standard, I mean, they are already compiled. Some of them, yeah, okay. some of them, uh, uh, for the most part, uh, all three have similar songs. Mm -hmm. But we, uh, we have certain songs that we rotate um, to keep it fresh okay. for a lot of the fans who come to, mu to multiple shows, yes. you know? And it, it keeps it fresh for us as well, you know? Like, it's like, you gotta know, it's like, yeah. oh, what are we playing tonight? Oh, okay, okay, we're good. And it keeps it, it's, I think it's fun, you know? And it shows the audience that that's how much we care, you know? Like, we want to make sure that they have a unique experience and they can take something away from this that no one else did, you know? And do you do it all together or you're in charge? Of uh, I, put, I put the original set together. Okay. Um, and then we kind of, you know, we, we figure it out along the way, whatever, you know, we, we try to let it happen naturally, to be honest. Um, I get the ideas out and then we just kind of, you know, mix and match and see what works, you know, and uh, yeah, it, it came together very organically. Um, being considered the pioneers of the new wave of American heavy metal makes you more proud or trapped in a definition? No, no, I'm very <laughs> proud of that. You okay. know, I, I really am. Um, because for me, I mean, that's just one of the highest compliments, you know? And, and uh, it's not like we've held ourselves into that box, yeah. you know? We've always tried to explore so many different things musically um, to keep it fresh, not only for us, but for the fans, you know? That, that definition means something completely different now than it did five years ago, yeah. you know? And there are so many great bands to come out of that wave that I, you know, to be considered, you know, one of the first to do that, I mean, I'm obviously, I'm very, you know, very gratified for that. Um, but just to be a part of this genre, you know, I mean, forget the American, yeah. just to be a part of the history of heavy metal is, uh, it's such an honor, you know, and to be doing it this long, I mean, that's, feels pretty good. Um, your shows are always, you know, packed full and always bigger. Yeah. Um, you, we're not living, you know, in an era which is positive at all. Yeah, yeah. So, do you think that there's, a, you know, something that in your shows the people, you know, find a way just to throw out the energy and to live better? Uh, 
I mean, there's a reason why, you know, sleep nuts are becoming, you know, bigger and bigger also yeah. because of the environment we're living in now. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, there's something about us that appeals to a lot of different people because we don't sugarcoat anything. Yeah. You know, we present reality the way it is, um, but we also try to put that positivity in there. You know, there's hope in our music. We're not just doom and gloom. It's about, you know, picking people up off the ground and saying, it can be all right. You just have to let yourself know that, you know? And for me, there are so many different people in the world who just want to weigh people down with too much of that reality. Whereas we are trying to free people's minds and say, look, this reality is only real if you want it to be. Yeah. You can change anything yeah. you want. There's always going to be darkness in the world. But if you fight that darkness with light, maybe we can find some place that's better for all of us. So ho all hope is gone, but still we have Slipknot. So. Still we have Slipknot. As <laughs> okay. long as you have Slipknot, there's always hope. <laughs> okay, last question. Um, there's always been some rumors, you know, about Slipknot playing an unmasked tour. Will it ever happen? And uh, also, yeah. you know, it can be a response, you know, to those who say that it's just a matter of image and, you yeah. know, the yeah. mass and that there's no substance in it. <laughs> so uh, I like to call those people idiots. All right. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, no, I, I don't think you'll ever see a Slipknot Unmasked tour. Um, it, it, it's, everybody asks me that and it's like, it's such a part of who we are. That. You know, even kiss a mask yeah, for yeah, 10 no, years, so... And look what happened. <laughs> okay, that's a good point. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it's such a part of, of, of what we do, and it, and it helps us really embrace yeah. the music that we make, that I, I, I couldn't see that happening, you know? And to everyone who thinks that this is just a gimmick, live in it. You tell me it's a gimmick, you shitheads. Okay, so thanks Corey for your time. Very Stay welcome. Ah, oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> you maggots. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're very welcome.